Holy words long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with God's own art. Oh, let the ancient words impart words of life, words of hope. Give us strength, help us go in this world where'er we roam. Ancient words will guide us home. Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Holy words of our faith handed down to this age came to us through sadness. of the day. Brandon Hathaway, I preach at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. And this is my son, Josiah. Hi. He joins me from time to time, helps me out reading a verse here and there, and we're happy to be able to do so. It's always encouraging as you uh, watch the videos, make comments, and share it. Uh, it encourage me to keep these going, and I hope that I'm encouraging you as I open up our Bibles and we study the Bible and look to see what it has to say as we go from day to day. So uh, as brought out, I'm going to try to be following a reading schedule that I put out for the congregation at the beginning of the year. Um, and so we're in the book of Romans. Today we're looking at Romans chapter 3. I'm going to pick out a couple of verses from Romans 3 and talk about it today. And that means we'll go through uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 um, this week. Uh, and we'll get to chapter 7 on Friday and then of course Saturday and Sunday. So days that... Um, I can look at other things and other verses or maybe reflect upon some of the things that we talked about the, earlier in the week. But if you have any suggestions for um, the verse of the day that I could bring up maybe uh, in, on Saturday or Sunday that you can throw out there. Or if you're studying ahead of me, if you're reading those chapters um, that I'm going to talk about tomorrow or the next day, then you got a verse that you'd like to be talked about, then you can once again, calm that in there in the sections, and I'll look at that and uh, might be able to bring that out. So today, as we look at Romans chapter 3, I'm going to go ahead and look at verses 9 and verse 23. Verse 9 and verse 23. It is, you might say, verse 23 is a more common verse that people get caught up in looking at and talking. Um, some people are able to quote it quite easily. Um, but we'll go ahead and look at these two verses and then have a talk about them. So... Romans 3, and in verse 9, says, What then? Are we better than they? Not at all. For we have previously charged both Jews and Greeks that they are all under sin. For all and, have sinned and fall, and fall short of the glory of God. You didn't want to wait for me to tell them to go. Um, but that was verse 23 you just read there. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So... When you read Romans chapter 3, and of course, a lot of the struggle with the first century there, uh, it's the first century church, um, and is the Jews making that transition from the old law to the new law, and making that transition from the Jews are the children of God, and that uh, Gentiles are not, and so they're, they're still caught up in that they're better, and that they receive more reward, and that they just 
the, so many different things that they had struggled with as they made this transition. And so here it speaks of that again as you read Romans chapter 3. That they are caught up in trying to figure out what the Gentiles can and cannot do, what the Greeks can and cannot do, uh, what they have to do, and holding things above them. And, of course, uh, Jews continue. But you read these two verses here. And it should be something we all remember and keep in our minds as we go throughout our lives and as we reach out to strangers, as we reach out to brethren who have fallen away, as we reach out to anyone that we have all sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. Everyone has. Everyone has fallen short. It brings out here that the word of God has put us all under sin. We all have. And so that there should remind us that as we're looking at people and, man, why are they caught up in this? And I can't believe they're doing that. And I, you know, remember you sinned also. Remember I've sinned also. Now, you, you, we can get caught up and we try to play, well, this sin is worse than the sin that I've ever done. And, and guys, one sin, whether we see it as being worse or uh, not as bad, that sin can still condemn you to hell. That sin, if you have not repented of it and have not uh, turned to God and asked for his forgiveness, can still condemn you to hell. And so that sin is just as bad. And so we have to be willing to put all sin behind us and truly repent of our sins. Now understand what you're reading in these verses also is not saying, well, we've all sinned, so therefore it doesn't matter, or, or we can just continue in sin. People like to go around saying, well, we're all sinners, so, you know, it, trying to justify sin, justify our actions, justify us falling short. And that's not okay. Once you learn the truth, and once you've obeyed the gospel, you're supposed to continue to grow in the Word of God, continue to add to your faith in the Word of God. And then as you grow, hopefully the stronger you become, and then the less you fall into these temptations. And hopefully we, we can go a, a good amount of time without sinning. And because as it says, we have all fall, we all fall short, but it doesn't say how often we fall short. It doesn't say you, you sin daily. It doesn't say you sin weekly. It doesn't say you sin monthly. But as we grow, we should gain more ground with the Lord on our side, gain more strength through Jesus. As we apply the armor of God, that we're able to withstand the temptation Satan puts out, out there because we've drawn near to God and we've resisted the devil. And this is some of the things that it brings out in Romans 3 also, is that the Jews were trying to do that, trying to somewhat justify certain actions, certain things that they have done. And understand, we've all sinned. When it comes down to it, we must be obedient to God. And so let us remember that we are human, that we all have fallen short. Therefore, it helps us to be forgiving to others, helps us to understand when someone else has fallen into temptation, that we can be there to help them. Once again, not to justify their sin, but to be there to help them to overcome it, to turn the other way, to repent of their sins. And let us make sure we have put all sins behind us, that, that we need to sit there and ask, if you sit there saying, well, I have a sin, that means you need to sit down and truly think. Think on what you have done because if you claim you have not sinned then you call god god a liar because he said we all have we need to make sure that we put all sin behind us hope that i've encouraged you today i hope that i've helped you as we looked at romans chapter 3 i encourage that you read the rest of the chapter and, um make time to do that and make sure you continue to study and pray thanks for joining us today we'll talk to you later bye